Hello, my friends. I wanted to share an experience with you that I had this morning on the beach. And the reason that I want to share that story is actually to explain why it's so important, this detoxification that happens every night in our bodies and that we need to eliminate in order to stay clear the next day. So bear with me until the end of this recording so that you get the jits of it, so that you get the actual point. So basically this morning I was out on a walk on the beach and I was actually observing how different it is now um, since Bali has opened up again and there's so many tourists coming in. And I felt this sensation of it's like it used to be, right? And as I was walking, I went past this little shack on the beach that was playing Coldplay. And Coldplay um, had its big hit, Yellow, back in the early 2000s. And as soon as I heard this song, it brought me back to an old memory. It brought me back to a memory of being quite early 20s, 21 probably, yes, and out backpacking for the first time in my life. And with some friends, we were in Thailand, staying on Koh Phi Phi. And in order to go from one place to the next, you had to take boats because there was actually no possibility to really travel on the actual island. So to go from one beach to the other, basically. So every evening after being out in town, let's say having dinner, you would have to take a boat to go back to where your accommodation is. And it was always the same. Um, every night going home, this quiet, beautiful space and looking up into the stars, we would lay down in the bo boat and it would always be someone who would start singing and then everyone else would sing along and it would be that song, Yellow. It was a big hit in those days, for those who remember Coldplay. And of course, because the first line is, look at the stars and see how they shine for you. So when I was walking on the beach this morning, that came back to me very strongly, I think for the music, of course, but then also all the other sense organs were in that place as well, which means that I was in a place next to water, there was the beach, there were um, tourists around and that whole kind of setting. And it brought me back so fully into the memory that I could really sense all of it. Now, what I'm explaining to you is nothing new to anyone. We all have those experiences quite regularly even. Some even would say that the um, smell is the um, strongest, the olfactory uh, memory is the strongest actually memory that we have. I haven't looked into that, but I would believe that that could be definitely true. But what does it really mean? It means that you are the sum of all your past experiences. It means that every single thing that you experience has a charge and that goes into your organism so that 20 years later, you can recollect from the trigger of an external environment, for instance, of a memory, um, trigger of the memory from an external signal and everything comes back, all the sensory experience come back. The memory from the song, so my ears, my ears were hearing it and I could remember how it felt, I could remember what it looked like and I could even remember probably what it smelled like. This means that basically every day, all day long, your whole organism, your sense organs, take in so much tremendous amounts of information that is just filled in your organism and as we go through the night and especially if we sleep in the right hours of the night everything in the body all the organs are detoxifying and what is not needed what does not serve the system the body the organism your being is being eliminated in the morning as waste. And so that is the reason that when we wake up in the morning, we eliminate, we can even find this waste on the tongue. We find it, of course, because we need to go to the bathroom quite soon after we wake up, if we are healthy, okay? And we also find it because we can actually wash ourselves off 
from stuff on the skin as well, right? So when we wake up in the morning, what has been judged as waste from the body is being eliminated so that we can start afresh. What happens when we don't eliminate, when there is something blocking from eliminating, this waste begins to accumulate inside of us. What happens with accumulated waste? Well, you can just look into um, an alley where people keep putting um, their old bins out and they're not being eliminated, taken away, that becomes toxic. So if we don't have a rhythm that allows us to eliminate the waste in the morning when we wake up, we continue to, to accumulate this waste and it becomes toxic. And that is how we become ill. That waste is not only, as you now understood with my example, physical. It is also memories in terms of the mind, in what we've seen, in what we've heard, in what we've smelled. Why do you think that in the elimination process, in the morning, we include things like meditation, things like journaling, things like a physical practice? Well, it's because that needs to be cleansed out and eliminated as well. So this is why when I put together the program of eight weeks, I decided that the first thing we need to do is to look into all the things that we do that don't allow us to eliminate regularly, every day, our toxins, our waste, and then build up progressively a routine that will allow us to do so. Because actually, when you begin to balance out your doshas, what really happens is that you are basically clearing the muddy water so that things become clear, the mind becomes clear. And that is how your true essence shines through. If you would be interested in knowing more on what we offer in the program and potentially have a, a talk with me to see if that could correspond to your needs, all you need to do is to send me a message. Just send me Ayurveda and I will get back to you.